Hello, I'm Gaëtan Klein and welcome to this video on the one-point tapping technique. This video might be one of the most important of my channel because I'm going to teach you the basic technique that we use all the time in pixel therapy and how it can help you eliminate any kind of suffering, negative emotions, blockages and all the kind of problems. This technique is really the first skill that you need to acquire in order to have the ability to heal yourself with pixel therapy. And it's super simple. Like I explained in the introduction, the goal here is to find a negative emotion, a negative sensation, or a limiting thought, maybe a limiting belief, uh, that blocks you in your life and to get rid of it. So the technique is really simple. We start by finding an emotion. So for example, let's say I want to improve my public speaking and I realize that when I have to speak in public, I'm a little bit anxious, a problem that most people have actually. And notice that you have this emotion of being anxious in your body. That's the first step. You identify the negative emotion. Now, instead of resisting this emotion or trying to hide it or trying to be stronger than the emotion, what we do in pixel therapy is we go the opposite way. We go towards the emotion because it's already there anyway. So the first step really is to accept the emotion, to allow yourself to feel it. Why? Because we're not looking for a short-term well-being and just feeling better, you know, shortly. What we want to do is to improve your quality of life on the long term. And to do this, we are going to work on this emotion so that it does not return, so that it's calmed down, um, it's eliminated, it's gone, and it doesn't come back. Right? That's what I want to help you achieve. So in order to achieve this long-term change, the first step is to work with the emotion instead of against it. Right? So we'll talk about it um, more in later videos because there's steps into that concept. But the first step is really to just allow yourself to feel the emotion and accept it. Then what, what you do is you're going to search for a point on the back of your hand just here, and you can tap on this point or rub this point, either way is good. And when you do this, it kind of sends a message through your nervous system that tells it to calm down. So when you are experiencing a negative emotion and tapping or rubbing at the same time, this emotion will decrease, 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 calm down and eventually go away completely. And that's what we want. So you have to keep tapping until you feel calm, peaceful and light. And that means there is no more of that emotion, there is no tension, there's no heaviness, just complete calmness. That's the goal. And all you have to do is tap. Easy, right? And this technique is pretty fast in most cases. It will take between 2 minutes to 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes or even more in the harder case in case of really strong trauma but in most cases most emotions will go away pretty quickly so all you have to do is actually don't do anything but just accept what's going on tap and just observe what happens in your body as you tap and within a few minutes it should decrease 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 and you have to keep going until you feel completely calm peaceful and light so that's really easy, that's one point tapping, and that is the basic technique that we use all the time in pixel therapy. Now, there are some details about this technique and why we use this technique instead of other trauma healing techniques. And you might have recognized that we use this technique, which is also called tapping, and you might know the technique called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, which is the source actually of this technique. But in EFT, we tap on all the points in the body. So you might say, oh yeah, I know this technique, I have practiced EFT already, I'm good. But I will really encourage you to try this technique instead, this one point tapping, because tapping on this point has a very peculiar and specific effect, which is different from the other points of EFT. So to understand that, you have to understand the biology, because everything we do in pixel therapy is based on the understanding of the biology of our emotions. And when we work on negative emotions or on negative memories and traumas, 
we need to understand what's really going on and how these traumas are stored in our biology so we can have a better effect. So how does it work? Well, you might know that traumas are stacked in our conscious space. And what I mean by stack is that we will have different memories, different episodes from our life where the, th the same emotion comes back again and again. So for example, let's say I'm working on fear and as I focus on it, I realize that, that fear has been present in different moments, in different situations. Now, when we practice EFT, we actually get rid of the top of the stack. Or if we focus on a different moment, for example, if we focus on childhood memories, we will get rid of a bigger portion of the stack because you have to um, get rid of it from the bottom up, right? It's like, a, it's like a stack of plates. If you want to get rid of the whole stack, you don't take just the upper plate away, you take the bottom plate and the, all the stack comes with it. It's the same principle with trauma. And actually this is um, reflected in the biology of trauma, especially what happens within the cells. So traumas are biologically equivalent to epigenetic damages. Shortly, because it's a bit technical, epigenetic damages are damaged structures within our cells that prevent our genes from expressing themselves. And when you look at the biology, you will have a stuck gene, and above the gene you will have structure with different elements that are stacked. And these elements are called ribosomes and they are linked by a chain, a string, called a messenger RNA string that connects the damaged genes to the ribosomes. Now, what's really fascinating about this is that each ribosome corresponds to a traumatic memory. And so this trauma stack that we know of in psychology is actually the same thing reflected in biology. You have a stack of different memories. So if you want to really heal a trauma completely and forever, what you have to do is to get rid of the whole stack, the whole structures, so that the epigenetic damages can be repaired. The problem with EFT is if you stay at the top ribosomes, if you don't go down all the way to the first ribosomes, then you're not going to heal the stack because EFT works ribosome per ribosome, which is good already, but if we want to get rid of the whole stack, we had to find a new technique. And that's the effect of that point, compared to all the points from EFT, it actually doesn't matter which ribosome you are on. Tapping on this point gets rid of all ribosomes and the whole stack. When you use this technique, you don't even have to regress. You don't even have to understand where is this emotion coming from, um, what happened in my past, what are the childhood memories linked with it, or is it coming from further in the past and in childhood? You don't have to worry about it because tapping on that point just gets rid of the whole stack automatically. And that's why it's so convenient and so easy. And that's why in Pixel Therapy, we don't use the other points because we've seen that they don't have this effect. We actually tested it and we found that only this point has this effect. So we choose to only use that point, so, which is called the night gamut point in EFT. Now this point also has a secondary effect which is amazing is that it actually repairs epigenetic damages that are from biographical trauma and those traumas are emotional shocks that we had in our life and it also works on uh, generational traumas which are emotions that are passed down from our ancestors. If you want to know more about this I have more in-depth video about epigenetics and subcellular psychobiology uh, biographical and generational traumas and so on but basically these points work on both <laughs> so you don't even have to know if you're working on a emotion that comes from biographical trauma or generational trauma you just have to feel the emotion and tap and either way it will heal so you can make it simpler so i really encourage you to try it and adopt it and to make it work because once you have that skill once you realize that, yes, you can get rid of negative emotion, you can heal yourself, and you can change through this simple technique, then you will not be able to get rid of it and to forget about it because you will think, wow, this worked and this is awesome. But try it. Don't just believe me. Try it. 
In the next videos on this mini course, you will find more details about how to make it work. And on the other videos on the channel, you will find more details about the theory behind it. But the practice, again, is super simple. Find the emotion, allow yourself to feel it and accept it. Don't resist it. And that. So keep doing until the emotion is gone and instead you feel calm, peaceful, and light. This simple technique works on something around 70% of the negative emotions that you will experience, which is a good number. It will not work on the 30% more, more um, and that's for different reasons that I will explain in different videos, one of them being body associations, where the body actually retains the emotion it doesn't want to get rid of it. But just using this technique, you will be able to uh, calm yourself from any kind of emotion 70% of the time. So have a good practice. If you have any question, uh, give me a comment and I will answer to you. And I'm looking forward to um, hearing you the stories of recovery and transformation that um, you will experience. Thank you. Have a good day and talk to you soon.